Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, just arrived here in Shanghai airport. Uh, it's called the Pudong. Um, but yeah, I uh, just arrived here. It was like one of the longest flights I ever taken from Chicago. Uh, it was, I think about 14 hours to get here. So super long flight and if I sound out of it, it's because I am like, oof. And I honestly, I didn't sleep really any. Like the night before I left, I slept maybe like uh, three or four hours. Like I went to bed around midnight and woke up, I had to wake up around uh, 3.45 to four. So yeah, I was not really that much sleep. And honestly, I couldn't really sleep because, you know, I was just excited and kind of anxious to, you know, start traveling again. So there was that. And uh, yeah, it feels, it honestly feels good to be traveling again. Like, feels nice to be back in Asia honestly like I'm pretty excited I'm um, just you know being in this environment a new environment and seeing a lot of uh, Asian people <laughs> um, it's pretty cool and it just feels nice to be back like it kind of reminds me of being I mean I'm not in Japan right now but it kind of feels like in a sense like I am or on my way there I guess a little bit nostalgic for me um, but yeah so like I said, I was like one of the longest flights I've taken, like 14 hour flights. hour flight from Chicago to Shanghai and I'm super jet lagged like super exhausted um, watched a lot of movies it was really nice because usually the flights I take over here like only have one movie screen but the flight that I took had like all the screens on each on the back of each seat so that was really nice it's, they finally uh, let us ride on a new airplane. I guess it changed a lot in a couple years um, From what I heard, you know United merged with the American Airlines. So, you know, maybe they're stepping up their game with that stuff But before oh man, it was like a, always like an old airplane and always one screen So you could you could only watch whatever Everybody else watched so you didn't have the say in the matter and yeah, it kind of sucked so but I also downloaded some games on my iPad, which was really nice, and that uh, entertained me for a while. And honestly, guys, like the 14 hour flight, as daunting as that sounds, it wasn't so bad. Like, I mean, after watching like three or four movies, I think it was like three or four movies, and then playing some video games, uh, yeah, it was a pretty good flight. And uh, I had some good meals, I got like uh, complimentary uh, wine on the house, red wine, and I just kind of got like a little bit trashy on that. Had three uh, glasses, so it's feeling pretty good. And then uh, sobered up, like, you know, towards the end of the flight, had a couple of coffees so I could, you know, be clear headed, level headed. Because Shanghai Airport is a little bit difficult to navigate, especially like I hadn't been here for a long time. Like, I was here once for one layover to go to Japan. But that was it and I totally forgot. Some of the stuff I started like remembering after I, you know, started going through the airport. But honestly, like if you've never been here, like you'll find it to be quite chaotic. And honestly, I didn't even know that I was, it's kind of weird here, like the way that it transfers with the airport. If you ever have a layover in Shanghai, you'll find that um, you kind of, yeah, you have to get approved for like a temporary 
type of visa in order to like come into the airport if you're transferring over to another flight um, because they don't have their airport's not set up like other airports where there's a way for the transfer lane for you to go and you know just go straight kind of like I don't know how to explain it. I'm pretty tired right now but um, but yeah, so basically, I have to exit just like everyone else, go through immigration like everyone else, at least internationals, and then you have to go uh, to the departure uh, check-in desk. And uh, well, another thing is like I took a different airline, so I definitely had to do that. So I went to the top floor, got a new ticket, had to recheck in my baggages, and uh, yeah, basically. Uh, is it wasn't so bad it's just you know the navigation of the airports can be a little bit difficult so there's that so um, definitely you know you want to be clear-headed when you're navigating this airport I think in my opinion because you can get lost in it and there's a lot of people kind of like scamming around I noticed like there was this one there's some weird stuff like I don't know if they're like pickpocketers or what but they're like going around like just like showing you a bunch of stuff I was just like, what the f and um, I don't know, like this guy like kind of like swiped my side pocket, like as if he was like, you know, trying to pickpocket me. I was like, well, I was like really pissed. So yeah, just watch out guys. Yeah, like, you never know. Like, honestly, I don't know what the hell they're doing, but just, you know, be on your guard. And like, that's another good reason to be clear headed about. I mean, you know, if it was another airport like Japan, okay, like, that's different like I feel a lot safer like a lot more comfortable like you know kind of you know just going about without paying attention to the airport I mean with that said I don't know regardless I think you should pay attention and just be clear-headed when you're navigating pretty much any airport in my opinion um, so yeah that's my little take on that and uh, yeah just to recap I man, 14 hour flight and then I'm waiting here for a few hours and my flight leaves at 7 we gotta start boarding at like uh, we start boarding at 6 30 so finally I'll arrive in Chiang Mai around uh, what time was it I think I arrive at like 11 p.m. which is super late and it's gonna be dark and it's a new environment so yeah it kind of sucks but you know beggars can't be choosers I got a cheap ticket so you know there's that and honestly I picked a good hotel it's pretty straightforward like I had the address down I'm gonna get an uber and just show them the, the address and uh, hopefully it'll be a smooth uh, ride there so as you can see, there's like nobody down here right now. Everyone got on their flights and it's just me, so I can just kind of comfortably log. But this is like the bottom floor and out there is like where you're gonna take a bus to get on your next flight, so yeah.